So it's currently one minute until the new Squad Builder Challenges are released and everyone's thinking they're going to be one to watch cards. So quickly as you can see, all of our French players have sold and we're now at 54,000 coins. We've also got all of our investments as well as some MLS players that are selling at the moment. So the next thing is to see what these new Squad Builder Challenges are. So we've got the new ones. We've got one to watch Summer that's untradeable, one to watch Summer that's tradable, one to watch Winter that's untradeable, one to watch Winter that's tradable, Team of the Tournament Africa, there are so many challenges. We've got to just quickly jump in and find out what the requirements are. So from here we need a minimum of two players from all of these leagues. So what we need to quickly go and do is pick up players from Burkina Faso really quickly. We're going to go snipe those now. So we quickly thrown on some filters here. We've got Burkina Faso and a maximum buy it now of 1,000 coins. So we're just going to see if we can get any of these guys really quickly. They're going to go so fast though. I think we're going to need to quickly up our filter to about 1,500 to try and snipe them at that price. Oh, they're all gone already. Let's try it at 2,000. See if we can pick them up at 2,000. No, we're going to be too slow with all of those. That's really annoying. If we'd guessed this prior, then we could have made an absolute fortune on those cards. Let's have a quick look at what the one to watch ones need for the completed ones. Overall team rating of 82 and one ones to watch player. That's absolutely mental. We should have sniped some one to watch players and picked those up earlier. 84 rating and a one to watch player and a team of the week player for a one to watch summer tradable. That's absolutely mental as well. If we move on to the winter ones, Let's see what we've got from these. We need 81 rated and a one to watch player as well. And on the winter tradable, we need 81, oh, 83 rated and one ones to watch player as well. These requirements are absolutely ridiculous. But the good news is we're going to make a killing from the players we've invested in. The big problem is that we're going to need to pick up some players. Well, we're too late picking up players from here, but we might go try and snipe some players from Ghana or Egypt. So we quickly went to Egypt and we set our max buy it now to 1500. I've got a feeling we can pick up all of these salads really quickly, or at least some of them here. As many as we can get, it's going to be, oh, we didn't need to do that. We really didn't want to send them here. Uh, place them all on our transfer list. Let's get back in there and try and get some more salads for 1500. Oh, they're going now. I think we might have missed our chance there, or missed our chance on some of them at least. Let's buy it now on all of these. Continue searching here. If we can pick up like 20 of these, we should be able to guarantee a profit on all of these at least. But it depends on how many we can get, because as you can see, they're just going so quickly, especially for like 1,200 coins. But even picking them up at 1,500 coins, I can't see us making a loss, as long as we're quite quick with when we decide to flip them over. There we go, they're easy money here, 1,500 coins on all of them. The problem is that Egypt isn't quite as rare. I think it's Egypt and Ghana or something that fall into the same band in. Damn it, we got our bid on that one as well. Let's just keep hoping we can snipe a few more of these sellers. I think most of them are going to be gone now, though. I'm not going to bid any, buy it now any higher than 1,500. Um, what do we want to do here? We want to send them all to the transfer list and just hope that these investments are going to pay off. Have we still got any more sellers up here? There are a few more, but I don't know if they're going to all be gone already. There's a good chance they are all gone. As you can see, that's annoying. We probably should have come straight into sniping opposed to looking at the other requirements. I wonder what the cheapest one to watch cards are going for now. Players like Allison before, which we're going to have a quick look at now. Uh, Allison, where is he? Is that the keeper? No, I don't think that is the keeper. Was it Alison or Allison? Let's try Alison. No, I think we're spelling it wrong. What's, let's have a look at Sansone instead. S-A-N-S-O-N-E, and we want to search special, and I know he was like 26,000 the other day, so what we're going to do now is just check how cheap the cheapest ones are. Oh god, there's no one to watch cards for 30,000. Could he actually be that expensive all of a sudden? 50,000, surely not. Oh wow, that is ridiculous. 82,000? We're not going to find any that cheap. Okay, maybe we can win someone some bids, possibly? No, 70,000 seems to be the cheapest that's listed up there. So we're not even going to get involved in the one to watch market. We're just way too late for it. But we did pick up a load of Salas, so that could be some good profit. So if we take a quick look at Salar now, if we search for him on 2,000, then it gives us just two players that fall under that. If we up it to 2,200, 
he's quickly becoming extinct under this price as well. Let's just run a test and see if we can bid on this. Nope, he's already gone at 2,200. So what we're going to do is just list ours up, I think, for 2,500 maybe. There's not that many left up for this price either. Maybe we could get a bit more out of that, actually. I'm just going to give it a couple more minutes to see if it changes much more and then decide what to list them up for. So it's been a couple more minutes. And if we throw a quick search out for 3,000 coins on Salah, there's only a small handful of them there. We could literally double our coins on this investment. And it's so ridiculously easy. I'm just going to give it a couple more minutes, just be a little bit more greedy and hope we can raise up to 3,500. So we're giving it literally two minutes. A quick search on 3,500 and there's five results returned. There's one here for 1,200, which we're not going to be able to buy. But that's absolutely ridiculous. I'm going to hold out just a tiny bit longer as well. So after monitoring the market, I don't want to risk losing money on these investments because it's not that appealing to do. So we're going to list ours for 3,200 and hope that they instantly sell for that. We don't want to end up losing coins on this investment, although I think it's very hard to do. Every coin matters to us so much on this account at the moment that we can't afford to be reckless. See, even the 3,200 ones we've just listed haven't even sold yet. I'm going to list these for 2,900, uh, 3,000, sorry, double our profit, double our price that we spent on them anyway, and just hope that they sell. Okay, so I listed about four, and the ones for 3,200 have sold as well. We do have two more listed up here, 3,000 and 3,200. So we're going to list the rest up at 3,200. They may rise, they may get a lot higher, but we don't want to take a gamble on this account. We just want to play it safe. And making about 15,000 coins from two minutes of investing is playing it fairly safe. So as you can see, most of the sellers have already sold, all for 3,000 or the 3,200 we listed them for. We've even still got three sellers up here, and we're already 10,000 coins in profit. So that was absolutely amazing for us for about two minutes work of worth or worth of work. We've also got these other investments. So what I'm going to do now is check to see if they've increased in price. So we bought the Handanoviches for about 7,000 coins. Seeing as you don't need a massive rating, they might not massively increase. But we're going to have a quick look here anyway. And if they haven't massively increased already, then I'm sure as the week goes on that we're going to get a bit better value out of them than we are at the moment anyway. So let's set that to not 70. What am I even doing? Let's set that to 7,000 and pop in Handanovich up here and then be absolutely shocked when we see about a million of them. 8,000? Nope. 9,000? Okay, so he sells for about 8,900. So we're making about 2k profit off him. Oh wow, loads have been listed. <laughs> These will bounce back though. You do need 84 rated for the tradable summer ones. So people will still lap these up. I wonder how much our Goldine is going for at the moment. Let's have a quick double check on him. We bought him for about 10,000 coins. So let's see if he's up to 12 yet. No, he's not that high yet. He's not far off though. So we are going to make a bit of profit off those guys, definitely. 12,000? Yes, that's about 2,000 coins profit off Goldine. We're going to hang on to those for a bit longer though. And just see if we can get a bit more out of them. So the next thing we're just going to look at is our 84 rated squad that we bought. We pick them up for 1,400, 1,500, and at the moment, it looks like they're selling for about 2,600 coins, which isn't bad. That's about 1,000 coins per player, so that's going to be another 11,000 coins profit. But before we sell them, we're going to jump into one final game using them, just to get fitness back on our Spurs team, and then we can sell off those investments. So we jump into the last game we're probably going to play with this team. We might play two, depending how this goes, and we come up against... It's a really interesting looking BPL squad actually. He's got Paya and Mares, so not a load of pace on the wings. And then like Xhaka and Ramsey, Terry, Older World. I like this team. Plays a ball through. Come on, Kane, make a run. There we go, back to him. Mata, hold it up. Find him down the middle. Nicely played. Back in. Over the ball. Come on, have a shot from there. Oh, that's a great save by Check. And it's in off the post. Is that Mata? It is, I think. Yes. That's a great last possible goal for the club. Nice interception by Adderese. Finds Kane's running through. Kane to finish it 2-1. And it's just under check. Oh, suddenly a bit of a delay kicks in. But it's all right because we've already scored. He gets up high. He makes a turn. Mata sees Adderese making the run. Adderese can't miss from there. And he doesn't. That's 3-0. 36 minutes in. Oh, it finds Mata. Who finds Kane. Who's through on goal. Use your strength, Kane. Use your strength. 
and finish it, how do you miss? How can you even possibly miss that? It's harder to miss than score that chance. Anyway, we go into half time absolutely dominating. The game's not even close, so we should easily win this one. Czech plays it short again and Kane picks it up. Kane with a shot from outside the box. I don't really know what Kane is all about. This guy confuses me. He's not good. It's falling into top rack. Who finds Kane? Who loses it? Who wins it? Who turns? Finds Adelise. Adelise turns, plays it onto Thiago. Thiago can't miss. Thiago misses. But will Alonso miss from range? By a long way. Oh, and just like that, we're away. He's away even. We're struggling to catch him. Oh, but Socrates has done amazing. Koke plays it up to Kane, who plays it back to Adelise, who plays it into Kane, who plays it out wide to Adelise again. Adelise for five or four. It's four. So straight after the fourth goal came a pause, and I've got a feeling this could be a rage quit, and it is. So that's a nice win. I think we might actually just play one more game with these guys, just to make the most out of their contracts, and then sell them on. So I just wanted to show you guys this. If we come back and look at Salah, and we search for a price of, let's say, 2,600, look how many results are getting up. There's loads. Now if we search for 3,000, which is still lower than what we sold ours for, there is page after page after page after page. These cards can't have a player being worth 3,000 each. That makes them worth 36,000 for a chance, and you're going to get discard. All of ours have sold, and we've taken over 1,500 coins profit from each. What we are going to do now as well is list our higher rated players. So we've got three here. We've got another All Black in the club, another Biscuits, another Handanovic, and a Godin. I don't see them raising that much, just because only one challenge needs 84 rated players. So we're going to shift these while they are a little bit higher than we bought them for and take that little bit of profit. So firstly, we're going to list Godin. We bought him for 9,900 and we're going to sell him for just under 12,000 coins. Then we bought All Black. So we bought him for 7,000 coins and he's currently selling for about 8,700. So that's what we're going to list him for. The same applies for Biscuits and Handanovic. So we bought them for 7,000 and they're listing for 8,700 coins. And we'll do the same with the last one on here. Then we'll quickly jump onto our transfer list and list the same players that are on there. We got this one for 6,500, so this one's a massive profit. We'll list the three players on our transfer list as well, and we'll see how we're doing for coins. So while that stuff is selling, I did accidentally bid on a Godin while I was checking prices. It's very unlikely we're going to win it, but even if we do, we're not going to lose any coins. So while that stuff on the list sells, we're going to jump into one more game with this team, and then we're also going to sell off our 84 rated investment squad. And then we should get a total roughly of whereabouts we are for coins. Right, so we jump into one more game with this team. I was just checking out the 84 rated prices. And because they're not needed for many squad builder challenges, they have actually started to drop a bit. We'll still make a profit if we were to sell them now. But I think we might end up just holding on a little bit longer until the one to watch cards are released in packs and more people can complete the challenges without spending an absolute fortune on the one one to watch card needed. God, we just can't catch Mkhitaryan, especially with Alonso. Maybe Manalas can do the work here. That's a great cross and a great header. We really lack the pace to beat this guy. He's got Gray up front, Mkhitaryan on the wing, and who, uh, Sanchez on the other wing. So we're really going to struggle for pace here. Get up for the header. How did you not win that header? No, don't let him get past you. Don't let him get past you. How does he get past you? Like that? What a tackle. That was absolutely vital. Plays it into Mata. Sees Adderiz making a run. Can Adderiz get round? He can, but can he score? He can shoot, but is it a penalty? It is a penalty. Whew. That should be a red card then, because he was the last man. But we'll take a penalty either way. And we're definitely not going to have Kane on it. Kane hasn't been able to finish anything for us so far. We're going to go bottom corner with Adderiz. That's a great penalty as well. Adderiz wins it, plays it to Kane, who can't even get a shot off. Adderiz wins it again. Good interception by Alonso. Plays it forward to Kane, who clips it into Mata. Mata has a chance, and how does he shoot wide from there? It's won by Thiago, who plays it to Mata, who plays it through to Adelis, and he can't miss from there. That's 2 1 just before half time. Adelis picks it up. He finds Mata, who finds Kane, who beats his man, but he's fouled. That's got to be another booking at the least. He's the last man. It's off, it's red. 
That's Walker gone and David Luiz should be gone as well. So at half time, it's been fairly even. He's got us beat for pace all the time down the wing, but we've had the better chances. We're winning 2 1, and he's got 10 men. Should be on nine men with David Luiz. The penalty gave away should have been a red card. Nice ball through to Mata. Comes out wide into Kane. Kane turns. Kane shoots. Kane misses. Of course, Kane misses. I don't know why I'm even acting surprised. Alonso on the ball. Alonso knocks it up to Koke. Sees the run by Manalas with 10 shooting or whatever it is, and he still comes closer than Kane. Is it through to Thiago? who sees a run by Mata, who plays up to Adriz, back to Mata, back out to Adriz, Adriz on the break. He's going to use Kane on the overlap. Kane, he actually scored something. This is the best day ever. Okay, so straight after the goal, then <laughs> the match got disconnected, funnily enough. So I think it's probably another rage quit, which isn't bad. It's another win for us. Another easy 3-1 win as well. And Kane scored a goal. So he's really me, really trying to make me rethink this whole selling him thing. As for the match stats, we were all over him. It wasn't even close. He had two shots and he scored from one of them. So if we jump back onto our transfer list, the only thing that hasn't sold is Oblak. And we do also have two Sorrentinos we picked up. And we picked them up for 11,000, thinking that you need informs. You don't really need informs for these challenges. So he's back down to around 10,500 at the moment. There's no point in selling him or there's no hurry. So we're going to just hang on to him until he does raise to maybe 11, 12,000 and then we'll shift him. So I know we said we were just going to play that last game, but there's not a lot else to do at the moment other than just play one more with this team before we consider selling them. And I kind of regret that decision because we come up against a super team with Aubameyang, Kane. I'm guessing he's going to change into a 4-1-2-1-2 when the match starts. Oh, I don't know, actually. It makes no sense to have them all out of position, especially Aubameyang on the right wing. Now he's back into the centre. Now find Kane making the run. Okay, Kane, you can do me proud here. I can forgive you for everything or nothing. So he plays the free kick straight to Kane. He plays it straight to Mata. He finds Adelies. And he's away on goal. And can he finish? He can't. But can Kane get there? Oh my gosh, somehow Lloris gets back. Oh, it's picked up by Thiago, who sees Mata making a run. But he gets body checked, so Thiago just runs onto it himself. Plays it into Kane. Tries to find Adelise, but of course Kane mispasses it. Because it's Kane. Thiago plays it into Alonso. He sees the run by Adelise. Adelise is throwing goal again for the second time. Can he finish this one? He can. 1-0. Okay, we're going to try one of those little balls where we pop it into the box and we run on and get a header, but then we do it really badly and it doesn't really do anything. Just like that. Nailed it. Top rack turns. Pass it to Mata, who finds Alonso, who sees Kane making a run. Kane is through on goal. Kane scores, oh my god. Kane's trying to rectify all the mistakes he's made with two goals in two games. That's a great block by Socrates. Plays it to Koke. Adelise, Kane, Mata, back to Kane. Kane through for second goal. It's a poor shot, but it goes in somehow. <laughs> That's Kane on a hat trick if he scores again. This could be absolutely unbelievable. Back through to Kane. He sees the run being made. Back to Kane again. Back through to Koke again. Koke for the... Oh, that's a great tackle. Can't even be mad. So, at half-time, it looks fairly even on paper. But again, we've been absolutely dominant. His shots have come mainly from corners or long-range shots. And we've just been clinical for once with our finishing. That's a good ball in by Aubameyang. Plays it back out. Bellerin picks it up. Bellerin could cross here. And he does. That's one hell of a finish. I think it got a massive deflection off my defender, but I'm not even mad about conceding a goal like that. Well won by Socrates, who knocks it back into Thiago, who finds him, find him on the overlap. Matter to make it four. Matter! That's a great save. But Adeliz has still got the ball though, so it's not over. And now it's over. Plays it into Kane, plays it into Adeliz, who plays it back to Kane, who's through on a hat trick. This could be the best day of Kane's life. He's going to hold it up, he's going to cut back, he's going to shoot. And it's saved, but we get there on the rebound with Adariz, who's fouled, but then still... Oh, it's Koge. He managed to track the whole of the pitch to score that. What a goal. Okay, so he's paused it straight after that goal. And again, we get another rage quit. That's the third rage quit in a row. I guess I feel bad for the guy. I mean, he chose to have informed Kane, inform Kane on his team and then got destroyed by Arkane. 
So it's not been a great day for him. That also puts us one point away from promotion. That's a horrible season, five wins and four losses. We should have easily clinched it. So coming back to look at our transfers, all of the higher end players that we bought have sold and we've made about 1,500 coins off each after tax. So that's roughly 7,500 coins we've made off them, which isn't fantastic, but it's definitely better than a loss. We've still got our two Sorrentinos, who's still going for about 10, 10,500. So I'm not going to rush into selling him. We don't need the coins. We're on 133,000 coins already on this account. And we've still got those two, which puts us over to 155,000 coins, basically. What I am going to do is jump into just one last game with this squad. Because it's been free rage quits, the fitness is still fine. And with one more point, we do get the bonus from the division. So we come into this game. He's got five at the back in a, it's like a Bundesliga team, but he's also got Ben Arthur and Cavani at right wing. So it's a very interesting team. It's very strong. We're going to really struggle to break down a five at the back team with Kane and Adurez as our strikers. Manalas plays up to Thiago, plays off to Mata, into Kane. Sees Adoriz on the run. Can Adoriz hold it up for long enough to get anywhere though? He plays it through to Thiago. What a goal! Damn, his defensive line is so far back. I think he must be playing counter-attack or something like that. But it doesn't stop us breaking through like that. He doesn't have a lot of height on the front post. So we're going to try and abuse that. Oh, what a save. That's a great ball down the line. He finds Coleman in plenty of space. Coleman also keeps it in as well. It's a great cross in, but that's a... Oh my god, it's fallen to Cavani. Who turns into some kind of half bicycle shot scores. Damn, I thought we had that cleared when he made that punch. But what a finish. It falls back to Koke though. Koke does a little turn. Finds Adoriz in the box. Oh, that's a great... That's a penalty. I thought that was a good tackle personally, but I'll take a penalty. So that again, we're not having Kane on this. We're having Adoriz on this. We don't have the arrow this time though. So I'm hoping that this is good enough to go in. And it is good enough to go in on the rebound. God, I was so nervous when his keeper saved that. Over to Koke. Koke's on the ball. Koke runs round. Still Koke. Koke with a shot. Koke with a goal. I really hope I'm saying his name right now. Otherwise I just said the wrong name like 12 times in a row. So we enter half time with a lot less possession, but we've had all the chances. Possession doesn't mean anything if you're not doing anything with it. And we've been super clinical with most of our chances at least. That was close. Okay, we're so far offside, it's unbelievable. Oh my god, we went offside. Plays it through. Oh my god, is Kane onside? Can Kane finish? Kane can finish. That makes it 4-1. Mata finds Kane. Sees Adoriz making the run. Plays it back. Kane's through on goal here. Kane make it 5 and Kane makes it 5. Could Kane get two hat-tricks in two games? That could make me keep him. That could be the biggest miracle. Koke picks it up. Finds Kane. Finds Mata. Finds Adoriz. Who finds Kane. Who finds Adoriz. Who scores. Ah... Uh, I like to believe it was going in, but <laughs> it's me. It's one-on-one -on -one chances, and it's me taking the shot. So we should have known we were going to miss. Wins the header, finds Adoriz, finds Kane, back to Adoriz, back to Mata. On to Adoriz, but we want Kane to get a hat trick, and Kane wastes it. Why didn't we just score with Adoriz? There's me believing that Kane can get a hat trick again. So that's how the game's going to end. <laughs> As you can see, it really wasn't close. We had 19 shots, 14 on target, to his four shots and only three on target. It was only ever going one way. And that also, it doesn't give us the title really annoyingly, but it does give us promotion, which gives us another almost 5,000 coins. So now we're not going to be sitting off far from 150,000 with the two informs to sell still. So we could be anywhere up to about, 100, about 160,000 when they sell. What I'm going to do now is just take a look at the marquee matchups and see if these lightning rounds have reduced the packs, uh, the player prices, not the pack prices. Right, before we jump into the marquee matchups, I just wanted to show you this. So Salah now is down to about 2,000 coins in price. There's only a few of them left, so we might sell for a little bit over that. But that's how quickly hype builds up and then plummets back down. You have to try and make sure you're selling your investments at the top of their hype, which is something we missed with our 84 rated squad. So the first challenge we're going to complete is the Sporting CP versus Porto in the Liga Nos. 
Now it doesn't matter about rating on this, so we're just literally going to pick up the cheapest bronze players we can, hopefully spending 200 on each, and then just the one player from Sporting or FC Porto. So we completed this one, we actually paid a little bit more than we'd like to. Some of the, well most of the Liga Nos players are actually going for about five, 600 if you snipe them. So that's another great sniping filter we could have. Almost any position in the Liga Nos is really rare. We did manage to use a couple of players from our club, which are just bronzes, as you can see. And then we picked up this Portuguese guy for 150 coins just to finish linking them. So that was absolutely awesome for us. So the next challenge we're going to do is the Juventus against Inter one. Again, we just need Calcio A players, well, Serie A players, one Juventus player, one Inter player. But there's no rating needed, so we can pick up anyone for this, except for the fact they have to be gold, obviously. So after quite a bit of sniping, we finally get there, and it means we're not overpaying on the squad. It still probably cost us about six to 7,000 to complete, but that's fine, because we get a jumbo premium gold pack, but we're mainly doing this for the mega pack at the end. So the last challenge we're jumping into is the AS Monaco against Nice marquee matchup challenge. So we're used to sniping these players, so that's what we're going to do straight away. Go snipe as many as we can, and then fill in the rest of the team. So we finished off this team and we've got one bronze, one silver and we snipe most of the rest of them and that'll give us another 25k players pack. So now we've got that, we've got the premium pack from the last one and the 35k pack so now we've just got to open them. So we'll start with the silver and then we'll work our way up slowly. The silver one could be the most profitable. If we pull like a Toulouse player or something crazy like that in it then we're going to be made of money. But let's see who we actually get in this pack to start us off with. Uh, the Hyundai A-League would have been nice a few days ago. We've got an MLS player here, and that's about it, actually. Right, let me just check what sells and list these guys up, and then we'll jump into the next pack. Okay, so I was just checking the first guy, the MLS guy, and the cheapest one is actually 7,900 coins. So we're going to list ours up for 7,200. No, just actually 7,000. We want him to sell. We don't want him to get flooded out the market. So we're going to list that guy up and then check the rest. So that MLS guy sold instantly. We sent the rest to our club, and now we're gonna jump into the Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. So there's no stutter, no walkout. Oh, wow. That is absolutely huge pull for us. We pulled one of the Man of the Match cards. Damn, that flare was really, really nice as well. I'm just gonna see how much he actually goes for. It might not be a lot, but he sells for minimum. But still, 10K from the pack is absolutely awesome. It's a bit of a shame it's not Walcott or someone like that, but I'm not going to complain at all. Right, so let's just see if we've got anything else in the pack in terms of two squad fitness and a healing and a CDM to CM card. Right, I'm just going to list all this up and then we'll jump into the next pack. Right, so I sold what sold, sent the contracts to our club to list later, and then I sent the man of the match card to the transfer list. So now we're going to jump into the premium gold players pack and hope we can get another man of the match card or something crazy. No, I think we were dreaming with that one. We do get a Swansea player. Who is it? It's Montero. I think he might be newly transferred. Uh, apart from that, though, there isn't a lot in there. So I'm just going to list these up one more time, and then we'll do the final mega pack. Right, so I listed them all up. Some of the stuff is sold, including that hugely expensive guy from the MLS. We're going to clear that just so we've got a little bit of space left on our transfer list, just before we open the mega pack. And now we're going to open the big one. I don't think we're going to top a man of the match player though. That was absolutely massive to pull in that pack. As you can see, the store seems to be a little bit laggy at the moment though. I'm not sure if that's on my end or if that's on the EA server's end. But we finally get into it and we finally get to open our big pack. It was a bit of a stutter. I think it was just mine. I was a little bit excited there. We do get Jonas. Jonas is an 84 rated, so it'll be a couple of thousand coins at least from him. Who else do we have in the pack? Inaki Williams, who sells. Um, Townsend might sell. We do have a right back uh, from Liga Bankamuth, uh, whatever you call it. Oh, that's a really poor 35k pack. I'm really disappointed with that, actually. Right, I'm just going to list up these players, then send the rest to the club and see where we stand. Right, so I listed everything up that would sell, quick sold the rest. Most of them have sold already, luckily. We've still got a few cards here. We've still got our squad fitnesses, which we've got on for 950. We've still got a small handful of players as well that we've picked up from the pack selling. And we've still got a man of the match card. And in the club as well, we've got a load of contracts and individual fitness cards to sell. 
So we're going to end the video there with 133,000 and maybe 40,000 in the club. So we're coming up to 200k already. This is actually going really well. 